Trouble at the graves, eh? Yeah. Outlaws. The links you recovered. Priceless to me, but... Wouldn't buy a hot meal? <laughs> Nor a bottle of Fortuo brew. Ah, so much history destroyed when the Grand Wall in Freemark fell. Who we lost, what they accomplished... That last grave I visited. A friend. He never came home. I made that marker for him. For now, I have many stories to write and glasses to raise. Got a minute to talk? Unless you're suited up for a mission, I've got all the time in the world. Honestly, I'm surprised you agreed to take the job from Corvus after everything. I'll admit, now that I know what I'm doing, I kind of want a rematch with the Heart of Rage. That was probably not the best mission to take a new freelancer on. Well, you learn more from failure, right? We all did. The living, anyway. Although for most, the lesson was, stay out of the heart of rage. To be fair, that's a good lesson. We can't just ignore it and hope it goes away. It's turning everything around Freemark to ash. Is that why you've been so determined to go back? To stop the cataclysm? No, but let's say that's why. It sounds better than, I just want to solve the puzzle. Which part is the puzzle? Which isn't. Freemark was built on top of the Cenotaph. Why? To protect it? To hide it? What happened to awaken it? Did the Dominion intend to unleash the storm? Why didn't they escape? Why did our expedition fail? What knocked our lancers out of the air? You really think you'll find answers? Does it matter? The world is filled with mysteries. Chasing the solutions, that's where the fun is. Looking forward to the solution, not getting hung up on failure. I envy that. That's why you left, isn't it? You got sick of dwelling on the past. I can't blame you. You needed to get out there and chase something you couldn't see. It means a lot to hear you say that. I came here from Antium back in the day. Can you imagine? Beautiful, civilized Antium. To the frontier. Because I wanted to see what's out here through a Lancer's eyes. In that respect, I think we're alike. Well, I certainly like seeing through a Lancer's eyes myself. We're pretty much twins then. Don't worry. I'm sure I can back you up in the field just as well as Owen can. Hey there. Piece of advice? Okay, where do I start? Uh, your temper can get to... No, I'm saying from me to you. Oh, sure. What have you got? This fight with the Monitor? Burn it into your brain. Someday it'll be the good old days. The legend that gets freelancers excited. And reminds you what badass feels like. Years must be catching up if you forgot something like that. Getting an aptitude, huh? Looking for signs of senility. I'll have you know that badass courses through these veins. I defined it. That rogue Ursix that terrorized Shadow Gap Trench? I put the final bullet in its brain. Or that Battle of Wyvern Horde at Indigo Vale? I was there. Yeah? What was it like? A dozen freelancers dropped in from above. Down a sheer cliff, landed in a circle on an outcropping. Nothing but death below. No margin for error. Had to surround them. Twelve pairs of boots hit the ground in unison. Twelve guns started blazing. And a bunch of wyvern died wishing they never met a freelancer. It was magnificent. All right, I'll give you that one. Pretty impressive. Badass. If you can remember it. Kid, no one will ever forget it. Well, look who's come around. Looking sharp, big star. Right. Feeling better? Yes, indeed. A lying high. What have you been up to? Freelancing. Always freelancing. 
And some shady business. Shady business? Oh yeah. A sorry tale of woe, my glamorous friend. You wanna hear it? I'm all ears. See? This is why I like you. You understand that when adventure comes knocking, you open the damn door. It's chapter one of the Freelancer Handbook. There's sexy danger, sexy bad choices, probably more sexy danger. Tell me what happened. I found myself in a game of chance with some dubious regulator types. Not the good kind. These were real knee breakers. In hindsight, it probably wasn't a good idea. How did you end up there? They asked. Who knows? What did I have to lose? A boring afternoon? Nothing wrong with diving in, right? Sexy danger? Anyway, this game. I kind of bet my javelin suit. You did what? I was confident I had the winning hand. Let me guess. Sexy bad choice? Affirmative. Turns out my cards were crap. Yeah. Out. Things got pretty ugly. So you lost your suit? Not yet. They gave me a deadline to deliver it. So I was sitting here, trying to figure out what I should do. See if they want to do a trade. Instead of your suit, they might take something else. Well, I don't know. Maybe. They're smugglers. They'll bargain for sure. Yeah, you're right. I'm out there running across all kinds of valuable stuff. It has to be something they want. They'll get it. They're interested in profits. That's what you're offering. Okay. Sounds like a plan. I'll talk to you later. Ah, Freelancer. I'm finishing up a few stories for the wall. That's a bad time? No, no, good time. <laughs> the task is better with company. This is not the Grand Wall of Freemark, but it's a good start. Why do you do this? The wall, the stories, all of it. For the history books? <laughs> I'm not that vain. Well, not about these things. You never saw the Grand Wall, eh? Oh, people came from every corner of Bastion to see it. They read our stories. They believed in us. People haven't changed. They'll see the work being done and come around. Of course they will. <laughs> uh, what is it? My friend, the one I lost, I can hear him doubting us both. He could be a stormy sky. Ah, but I could make him laugh, huh? You said he was a freelancer. Yes, Garnet. Freelancer Garnet. I helped him pick that call sign, you know. It fit. He had a bad start, but survived it all. Oh, tough, that one. But one rainy day, he didn't come home. What happened? I don't know. Not all of it. Not where he fell. You see, I have his name, but not his story. This pains me. He was beyond the wall, making things better. The details don't matter. Of course, of course. I know this. Just... It pains me. Someone was counting on him to be there. And he was. That is why I send you out there to pay your respects. To gather stories for our wall. Maybe one day, you bring his story back. You tracked 
down Howlick here. Yeah? Well, see. Lucky Jack, keeping busy? You know it. Just had a contract dealing with Scars. I show up and they're messing with a relic. Good thing some buddies jump on the call. We've got elementals swarming, Scars everywhere, then a love-struck Korox shows up. What happened? Teamwork, fancy flying, and one heck of a lucky shot. Next thing I know, the relic's silent, the Korox has a new friend, and we come out all right. I'm starting to see where you got the nickname. It could have gone straight sideways, I'm telling you, but that's what family's for. Stronger together, right? It's the best way to survive. Nice to have company, too. More eyes, more ears. And more witnesses when you do something awesome. Like dealing with a love straw Korox. It's not something you forget. Just for scheduling the next job was easy. Is there a problem? My buddies and I thought we'd team up on another contract. Last one went well, so why not, right? Now they can't agree which job to take. I just want something logged in the pending contracts report. What are your options? An arcanist looking for a lost vault. Gotta love some mystery. Or the fort needs people to take on hostile wildlife. Guaranteed action there. Do you really want to pass up a chance to uncover lost secrets? That's what makes the job exciting, isn't it? All right, buddy, using you as the tiebreaker. Wish me luck. Not sure you need it. Yeah, yeah. I'll see you around. Busy. I'm starving. We just
looking for the glowy things. Echoes. Right. Those. 